this year i decided that i was going to bring my two loves together which is music and food uh i think food feeds the brain which then feeds the music so for me they are integral to my being so today uh, we ate pav bhaji pav bhaji is a street food that is uh, from mumbai so immediately that invokes memories for me of bollywood and dancing and celebration and it is a i would say a young person food you go out maybe you go to college or maybe you are in school you come out with friends and you have a pav bhaji it's soaked in butter very very healthy no i'm just saying <laughs> but really tasty immediately the name pav bhaji invokes in me those thoughts about the beats and the drums and the uh, sounds of mumbai and almost like a soundscape so i can almost transpose myself into uh, into a very busy street there eating pav bhaji and remembering my times with my friends there. so like i said i like to pound the beet chilies releases the seeds um without if if i cut it the seeds stay in the pot and it doesn't feel the same so if you release the seeds then uh the green of the chilies comes out a little bit more uh this is me being a cynist because i like the green of the chili rather than the taste of the chili i like to pound it into a reasonably rough sort of um consistency and then add it to the oil which I just heat it up I like pink onions they look good and they sit well with the chili and you know they roast well and they are actually integral to the making of pav bhaji so the taste is as important as how it looks and what colors are in it and just like just like composing a piece of music so you know if i were to compose a piece of music then it's exactly like cooking a favorite dish so it's like thinking about uh, what senses will uh, the music appeal to what is the theme how does it feel does it feel uh, like it's a fully rounded piece i'm into shapes as well my synesthesia so some some notes and some um, melodies are very sharp not rounded and the, they don't sit well with me i use them Uh, so all that flows into a composition as much as when you're cooking so cooking and uh, music are my first loves <laughs> so the best example of synesthesia is that um if i'm eating something uh, i can get a sense you know like everybody has a, a feel for the food through smell because obviously you know its fragrance of food is an important factor but as i eat i can think of um certain ragas are associated with certain foods and spices so spices in the main for me each spice represents a time of the day uh the mood the emotion so for example cloves could be uh, the uh, cloves could be a sunset um orange uh with the raga purvi uh, at the center of it so if somebody said to me make a composition on cloves then that's what i would do i would uh, put it in an orange framework with this particular raga happening and that is how cloves would taste when i when i actually tasted it so yes the answer is yes i can taste my music uh, and it's very delicious <laughs> i don't know whether you might need a bit more um Sorry, but I leave the decision to you. I'm sure it's going to be perfect. <laughs> <laughs>